Good morning students and welcome back to our online class of computer application. Children in the previous class we did the programming but using for loop. There I have explained you four different type of program which was done using a for loop and even I have given some homework. Hope you people have done that. So children today we will start uh, that same programming section only but uh, using a while loop. So children first let me tell you what is while loop. While loop is also entry control loop like for loop. Okay that means first condition is checked then only statements are executed. But what sort of questions, what sort of programs will be there where we will be using a while loop. It's very simple children. Whenever you get a digit based question use while loop. Reason in while loop we give only one conditions. Whereas in for loop we give three different types. Like initialization, start, or sorry, initializations, then uh, conditions, and number of steps in for loop. But in while loop, only a single conditions. Now, children, there is a simple logic for digit. Whenever you divide a number by 10, any number by 10, let me show you one example. So, see here, children. If I divide a number, like say 123. If I divide by 10, see the children, the reminder is always the last digit of that number. Okay, last digit of the number you get a reminder. And the quotient will be turned to as a new number. Quotient will, quotient will be the new numbers. Like again this 12 if you divide. So you got another digit. Again, the quotient you divide. We cannot take in point, okay? Because all everything like digits and all sum, digit, number, everything will be in pieces. So again, 10, 0, 0 and reminder you get 1. That is again another digit. So see, initially the number was 123. Then number turned to 12. Then number turned to 1. Now number will turn to how much? 0. So when number will be 0, that time will stop the loop. So whenever you get a digit based question, the logic, the condition will be number should be greater than 0. And to take out the digit, number divided by 10, the last digit uh, you will get as a reminder. And children, you know reminder we get using a modulus operator, percentage sign. Okay, So this modulus operator is used to uh, take out the reminder from the divisions. Now the number is changing, see 123 is replacing by 12. How? The question is how? How 123 changes to 12? Very simple children. This quotient we have to take. This question from where we get? Again divide the number by 10 only. But for quotient we use slash. Okay children. So slash and percentage both are used here. Now let us come to our question 1. <coughs> Program to display sum of digit of a number. That means one number. Let us take one number. 123. So sum of digit of a number will be 1 plus 2 plus 3, that is 6. Okay, so digit based question, while loop. So first of all the pack is import java.io.asterisk, another import java.lang.asterisk, then class. Last time I did 4 programs, so p1, p2, p3, p4. Homework, I am considering your part. So this one, I am just writing p5, that is program 5. Public, static, void, main, int and number we need to ask from the user. So we ask for number from the user. Let the number be 123. Then say int d0 s0. D for digit, s for sum. Because question is sum of digits. So we need digit also. Condition, while loop. While in small letter. While loop doesn't have a curly bracket. Oh, sorry, this one. Semicolon. So condition will be what? Number should be greater than 0. And greater than 0. Till number is greater than 0, this part will execute. First part, take out the digit. How? Reminder by dividing 10. So number divided by 10. The reminder stored in D. Digit. That digit, once you get, what you have to do? Sum of digit. You have to add that. So S is equal to S plus D. Now once you have added that, you need to change the number so that another digit will come. Because this part is known as loop. Loop means it will be like circle. Keep on rotating. Okay. So number will be reduced 
uh, like new quotient will be coming that is number divided by 10 slash will be used here so this part will keep on going you will get the digit like 3 2 1 sum up will be there like 3 plus 2 plus 1 you get ultimate 6 stored in s so after completion of the loop here system dot out dot print sum is uh, displayed that is s so children this is the program where we uh, have just uh, take out the digit from the number then we have sum of the digit and finally we have displayed that sum is this clear children now let us move to another type of question so children see question number two program to display whether the number is palindrome number or not children what is palindrome number number which after reverse also the value will be same like any number after reversing the value remains same like 151 if you reverse you get 151 only 262 if you reverse you get 262 393 reverse 393 many are years means any number after reversing you get the same value so here what we have to do is we have to reverse the digit of a number so children one thing we have to do see the logic like usually digit we get the last digit first that means let us consider 151 as a number so first we get this one then we get 5 then we get 1 now here the condition this part s is equal to s into 10 plus d here also we have s is equal to s into 10 plus d here also we have s is equal to s into 10 plus t now let us see the considerations s initially it is 0 so 0 into 10 is 0 plus 1 plus 1 s becomes 1 now here in this case 1 into 10 plus d is how much 5 1 tens are 10 10 plus 5 becomes 15 now here 15 into 10 plus 1 is 150 plus 1 is 151 so see we got the reverse okay so that's why the formula the calculations part we have used s is equal to s into 10 plus d where s we have given as 0 and one more thing we have added that is a is equal to n reason you might have seen that time n is decreasing every time here this point n is equal to n slash 10 means every execution the value of n is reducing the new value of n is displaying or coming out so what we did is as soon as we got the number the number we have copied and stored in a so that n will change but a will remain uh, safe means as it is so that after completing the loop we will check whatever the sum we get means the reverse one sum is here reverse okay actually s is reverse part so whatever reverse will get that will match with original number if both are equal will display palindrome else will display not a palindrome so children once again i am explaining you the program first of all the package you need to write that is must then curly bracket then class p6 that previous one p5 curly bracket public static void main int n number v ox d for digit s here i took for not sum for reverse okay and a is equal to n to copy the value of n in a also while n greater than 0 condition is same number should be greater than 0 fixed conditions digit n modulus 10 this logic is also same reminder when we need reverse logic s is equal to s into 10 plus d reverse is calculated you can see this part here how the reverse is calculated the number we are decreasing n is equal to n slash 10 so that next number will be there next digit will be displayed because this part is totally like uh, from here it will go up and from here it will come down look so after completing the loop we get the reverse one stored in s so we'll check that s with original number that is a because n is changed here so we'll check we'll be checking with a okay so s double equal to a if both are same if both are matched that means number as well as reverse both are same then we'll display number is a palindrome number else we'll display number is not a palindrome number so children this is the program where while is used along with if else second type of uh, questions from while loop is this clear children so children our third type of questions where along with while if else is there but one more loop we have added that is for loop now see the question children 
program to display whether the number is special number or not. Now, what number is known as special number? Like 145 is given as example. Reason behind. 1 factorial plus 4 factorial plus 5 factorial. Now, what is factorial? Factorial means a breakdown of the digit or number. Like 1 factorial is 1 only. 4 factorial is 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. That is 24. 5 factorial is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. That is 120. If you sum up this all, if you sum up the factorial of digit of a number, you get the number which is same as original number. So such number is known as a special number. So here also what we have to do is, first of all we need to take out the digit. So this part is digit. Once you got the digit, you have to break the digit. You have to take out the factorial of that digit. So for take outing the factorial, we have to run the loop. Because say for example you got 5 as a digit. So 5 what you have to do is 5 into 4 into 3 into 2 into 1. That means you have to run the loop which start with 5 goes up to 1 in decreasing order and multiply the product should be multiplicated like multiply. So for multiplication the variable should be initialized with 1. That part we have did p is equal to 1. Okay now why p is equal to 1 here not here reason behind because for each digit for each and every individual digit the product will start with 1 only. But if I put here p as 1, then what happens? That will be common for all. Okay, the previous value will be added like, what is the case for s? So what we did is, we wrote here p is equal to 1. So that when first digit will come, means last digit will come, p1, calculated product, that product will be sum up, number decrease, goes up. Okay, goes up. Another number, another digit, again p will be 1. So P, whatever is storing the previous value, that will be released and it will start with 1. That's why we have to initialize here as P as 1. And here loop, you can see, I is equal to D, starting from the digit, goes up to 1, minus, minus. That product, sum, number decreased. Finally, the sum will check with original number. Now, original number, we have taken the backup and is reducing. So I have taken a backup in A. So S is equal to A. Then print special number else print not a special number. So children, once again I am explaining you the programs. First package then class name P7. Public static void main int and n is the number we ask from the user. D for digit, S for sum, A for backup means copy of the number and P for product factorial. Why number greater than 0 condition is same. Take out the digit D is equal to n modulus 10. P1 why I did because for individual for each digit the product should start with one that's why p1 after digit only then run the for loop which will from digit up to one so d up to one minus minus take out the product the product should be sum up as far as the logic as far as the example the number decreased close the loop this part will continue after the loop is getting over the sum you get okay the factorial um, like of each digit that sum you got that we have to match with original number that is A. If both are same, will display special number, else will display not a special number. So children, this is the program where while loop is there, if else is there, and along with the while loop, we have implemented for loop also. So you have to check the question, you have to understand the question, you have to see the example that what like a while loop we have to use, but why for loop is implemented there. Because to break the digit, we need a for loop. We did also like series type questions, factorial type questions. We have used for loop. In my previous video, I have already shown you the factorial type series question. We have used for loop. So same part we have used here, children. So these are the three different type of question you get. Okay, three, three different type question you get using for loop. Oh, sorry, while loop and for loop four different types. So from this uh, part also, I'll be giving you some homework. Some exercise will be there. Okay. There are so many questions based on the number type. I'll be giving you few selected, few important questions, which we have to do. We have to understand this video. You have to see this video again and again. Okay. You just understand that how I have solved this one, how I have written this one. If not, uh, if you're not understanding, make the rough part. Use the number. Okay. Use the value. Take the dry run. Then you try to solve the questions.